they know that duality is a huge part of it because that's how Satan operates. Hmm. Dual nature, duality, white and black. Interesting. And it's because he u- utilizes that because it it's it's a better plan. Hmm. It deceives more people and it's more effective if you use a duality or a dual nature. He throughout the video, as we'll see, he promotes the chakras, he promotes ascension mm. as what humankind needs to do to get out of this blackness and funk. But it's still the same. It's packaged differently so that the world were, will buy it. Uh, hunk lion and sinker. Yeah. Uh, yep. He, Only in the dark. They're putting blinders up themselves. They don't, they don't want to see it. They don't want to see much. It. It's too much to handle or think about. It's too evil. It's too, it's too violent and vile. We can't accept it. it. This is not happening. I was like, Lord, I understand your wrath. I do. And I, I am still in awe of your grace. Sure. Okay, clearly they're shaking behind their backs, you know, big pharma and and the big corporate. medicine and corporate America. But what's interesting is they're offering us the blue pill. The red pill from the Matrix was oh. the one that brought truth, but it, all the medication is blue. It has this blue tint. Welcome back, everyone, to Manual Override. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be talking about the animated film In Shadow. Uh, we're back with Andrew and I, and also with a guest, Matt. Hey, this is Matt from Watchmen on the Wall. We're going to be talking about the animated film In Shadow. Uh, for those of you who have never seen it, it is a 13-minute long animated short film that I would say exposes symbolically, through symbols and art, much of what contemporary documentaries or documentaries like In Shadow will will discuss, but because it's an art form, it doesn't get banned. It doesn't explicitly say things, but due to its with its use of symbolism, pictures, and colors, it it will convey lots of truth and messages. And so today we're going to be watching that video and and talking about the symbolism and the deeper meaning of that um, that film. Any thoughts before we get into the into the video, guys? Did you uh, by chance watch the interview the creator did with uh I it did. just went up i think it was january 17th it was posted was this with uh the like where artists dare to go or that yeah one? that one yeah i did yeah. he was kind of new agey that one definitely yeah. definitely new agey um, and he and he definitely seemed suppressed because the artist certainly is he was <laughs> he was um there was a lot i think he wanted to say but the guy interviewing him was like oh you know this just kind of represents money and power and he was like well you know cuz he 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 wasn't trying to say things explicitly but i think that he was alluding to the fact that there was a deeper meaning and some of the stuff that i think we're going to talk about um, yeah. but i did see it it was good i just recommend uh people go watch that as well it's pretty insightful to get a little bit more of a context for why the artist used certain imagery and symbols and uh some of the some of the deeper philosophy he was influenced by maybe Carl Jung and uh, mm. other things like that. So go check it out; it's worth it. So I'll go ahead and we'll just start the video. So I don't think he's a Christian, but three and one. I just thought that was an interesting piece. Yeah, illuminated. Untouched, you know, just kind of pure energy uh, on a on a basic level. There's an eye. That yeah, that open eye. Look, it's the Here's flatter. Saturn cube symbolism. The cube. Yeah. So the world view. Cube. And right, but and right. It's different. interesting. I think actually, if you go if you go back and look at that cube, it was just the West. It was Europe and North oh, America, and that was his one of his things. The interview he's just talking about. So I see the two triangles. Western, kinda. yeah, Western culture and society. Here as I above, see as so above, so below. So below, yeah. But also you have that floating pyramid capstone. Yeah. And then you he, he's gonna go, and then you kind of see the. Well, here's the top of the pyramid, and then there's the yep. black. That floating elite so section again. Setting apart the elite. And yep. there's the pyramid capstone right there. Mm-hmm. So this is the capstone you're saying. So it's saying these guys are above the rest of society. That's what I take from it. This illuminating light. I wanted to pause on this one because this is like, you know, a ritual. You know, this I is see. the inner sanctum. And the cube. Yep. So they like summon the cube. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not like, just summoning the cube, though. It's interesting. Uh, 
I was listening to the the artist and he was talking about how the cube represents narratives and how uh, yeah, I remember that. they control us um, through narratives, but through narratives, but who controls the narrative, you know, and it starts out showing that the elite control the narrative. Those, the, the inner echelon, the inner upper echelon of society controls the narrative. Yeah. And then I, I always like this little thing in the center. Cause I, you know, again, I just, I, I kind of said it when I was looking at this video before, like, I always thought it was like the God void. There's something in man. I don't know if that's what he's referencing at all. I don't think he's a necessarily I, Christian. You, I think you're on to it, but it's it's not Yahweh. It's not yeah. Jesus Christ. No. It's yeah. as we'll find out later in the it's video. Like the new we'll, age kind of enlightenment thing. It's ascension, ascending yourself to be godlike. Yeah. So it's the pagan right now. New pagan new age kind of. Right stuff. now, it's showing that people in society who are controlled and who haven't reached enlightenment, enlightenment yet or ascension yet, this is mm -hmm. how they are. They're void in like their heart chakra. We're like, Oh, that's what it's referencing. The chakras. Yeah. And he, he shows that later too. Yeah. In it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Throughout the video, I like how the music picks up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's some good, good backing music. It is, it is. Everyone's just going through the, through the motions. It's like our yeah. idols. I don't know. The thing yeah. There's a uh, mortgage, car leases, car uh, sessions. Yeah. The general rush of society in, in the West. If you go to his website, he actually titles these pictures Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then Friday and Saturday are the party scenes, which you'll see right now. This is Wednesday. And what I take away from this is that people are just floating away. They have no control over their lives. They don't know how to control life around them. They're just mm -hmm. going along with the flow. And then there's that black goo. Yeah, that gunk. Well, this was like the the false facade that they market or something. Yeah. I guess, that you put on. Masks. Yeah, the social the social so, persona. So it's actually interesting because these masks become virtual later. So right now they're not virtual, but then they become virtual with the phone. Well, it's, yeah, we'll we'll get into that. But he said uh, yeah. they're closed circuits, you know, because they're self validating. Each each <clears throat> mask uh, represents kind of a different culture. Like here, you see the party culture, but later you'll see other types of cultures uh, based on the different masks that people wear in society. One night stand. So this is the shopper's thing. Yes. And there's 12 of them. So that's, that's new age, right? This is just... Yep. So that's what that is. Do you want to explain that a little bit just for people who don't, you know, what, what they believe? Kundalini spirit. Yeah. So it's, well, it's demonic, but yeah. this is how they see the spirit or soul. Yeah. I mean, we don't need to get into this, too much. Right. This is one of the more deceptive sides of Satanism, Luciferianism. Uh, the average Joe would look at the black masses and the blackness and heinous stuff that the other side of Satanism does. Right? Oh, the darkness side so of it, but there's a light this, side of it. Right. This is the side of Satanism or Luciferianism that the Antichrist will successful, successfully um, hijack the world with. It's, it's all about um, enlightenment, becoming mm. the best version of yourself. Uh, ascending, like transhumanism and stuff plays yep, into that. As yeah. Ascension, becoming godlike living forever and mm -hmm. it's going to be marketed very as if it's like pure like we're supposed to do this it's going to be the next stage of evolution is the next step yep. of human evolution with transhumanism yep, yep. so th that's interesting the two sides you've got the dark side of satanism with all the the deep rituals and yep and then you've got i've never seen that actually but it's very interesting that the new age that's, is another form it is satanism you see that a lot, uh, especially in masonry, you know, the black and white, the checkerboard. Oh, yep. It's, yep. it's all duality. about the duality, duality yep. right? So this guy who made this, 
he probably believes in some of this because he, throughout the video, as we'll see, he promotes the chakras, he promotes ascension mm. as what humankind needs to do to get out of this blackness and funk. But it's still the same It's architect. still the same. same. It's packaged differently so that the world were, will buy it, uh, hunk, lion, and sinker. Yeah. Uh, yep. I was listening to the interview with him, and he said it's all about renewal and transcendence, as we see yeah. at the end. But it's it's from a, a non-Christian perspective, and it's— It's falling says, into the same trap, though. It's it just is. the other side. It's, it's it is. E and ironically, he's, he's working from one of those closed-circuit masks— um, the only real truth we we can understand things through is through through Christ and Jesus Christ, yeah, and being renewed, having our minds renewed in Him. But He's working from one of those closed circuits, which it's, is kind of yeah. That's... And in a very clever way that the devil has used all of this is that he makes one side of it so extreme, heinous, and abhorrent that not average people will be disgusted by it. But then he, he offers this side that the same one he showed Eve, you mm. can become like gods, mm. you know? Yeah. And this is what society is being fed now, and it's being ramped up, 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 up. And then when the beast, the man of sin, arrives, people will be begging for it. Mm. Because, yeah, they'd be uh, conditioned. Conditioned, and then all of the events that we see in Revelation will be unfolding and mm. people will be desperate for a savior for world peace mm. for godhood for ascension all of that yeah for sure yeah, a lot there but let's keep we'll keep moving yes, forward yes yeah. so suppressing he's saying they're suppressing that vaccines this is creative thought hot for children are sucking it out of them the machine <laughs> i think oh. of uh, pink floyd's the what's the machine or I don't know, but then they also have that song about the educational system. This is kind of interesting. Go to school, go to college, get in debt. The war machine. machine. Yep. I wondered if these on the side were video game consoles. Like you're playing Call of Duty and it's preparing mm -hmm. you for that kind of war mentality. I think he I think he touches on that a little bit in, in one of the next scenes, one of the next frames. Oh, really? Well, I thought of this as transhumanism. Because he actually has another scene that uses this imagery here, and he calls it transhumanism, but it has that it's that weird like figure that's like kind of nude, but it's hooked up, and it has this. So I didn't know if this was <clears throat> another transhumanism thing, but I, I don't know. It could be. I don't. I don't know what he was trying to say. The war machine. Right. Right. Yeah. So, yeah Okay, and then you've got the cord into the news media. They control the narrative again. I mean, that's yeah. what, and they actually the next scene has that. The politicians are profiting off of the war, and war. in the meantime, they're you know kissing babies and and giving flowers to the parents who lost their kids. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. No, it's it's, it's you know. this reminds me of the View. I think the show is called. Yeah. But it just it looks yeah. the same. And he's got, you know, the, the, the mask. It's every, the, you know, Fox News, MSNBC, CNN, NBC. They're all the same. That's what he's trying to say. So I'm not going to pause it here, but you can, Pop stars. See, you can see right there that, handlers, that yeah. there's the handler. Yeah, that's I didn't want to pause it there. But if you there was the handler behind her and she was crying. So we think of what? Uh, some of the actors MK are, Ultra, MK Ultra yeah. Britney Spears for example yeah, yeah. exactly Shia LaBeouf and, and now we're seeing Paris Hilton come out she's regathered her brain her a little mind. bit yeah yeah what about Kanye West? I, I say a little bit not that she's regathered her brain a little bit but that she's coming out a little bit from from that sort of lifestyle and programming because they're yeah, and just for people who don't know these are people who have been essentially fragmented their personalities right and there's a they they then they get it's like Manchurian Candidate, but it's they're also controlled for in a public scene. So actually, this next picture depicts that because you've got hang on, hang on. It's Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Yeah, yeah. And you've got collars, and then you've got the handler in the background. There you here, go. So very interesting piece of artwork. Movies selling that narrative again. Selling the narrative, yeah. And then this one's interesting because you've got him. His brain being told what to do, but then his hands are tied around the 
the um, award, which I think is super yeah. interesting. What the director is focusing on, and he doesn't realize what's really truly going on, that he's actually a pawn and a puppet. Yeah, and something bigger. It almost looks like Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> so there's that void again, but as we've seen. So I, I, from a Christian perspective, I like to say, this is the void that God fills. Because we're. I, I think what he's tapping into is he acknowledges there is a void. He's going to say it's tra- That's transcendent. What Pascal oh, he did. Okay. But I, I would say this is that God void, that God is the missing piece. We are meant to be united to our creator. Now, he's going to say we need to ascend. No, through the new age. But what we would say is, no, you need Jesus Christ. He is the one who reconciles you back to God. That is this ache, this longing and nothing. Well, Philip, but what I think is interesting is the next scene with the phone because the phone is offered. Also, everyone has their eyes closed the whole time. Yeah. So. And he says at the end. It's like, ironic. Because he says at the end, like, you know, they open their eyes because they're, <clears throat> excuse me, enlightened. But it's still, you know, if we're understanding it, it's still two sides of the same coin. Mm. So we'll just keep moving along. <laughs> The virtual Everything. Mask. Yeah, not only is it a virtual mask, but it's still just a facade. And this is that sort of Call of Duty, mm-hmm. sort of war game types type thing. It has children in it, which I think is interesting. Like he's shooting at children, which is kind of graphic. And then this next scene, I think, is super interesting because this reminds me of like Western America. And then I, I wondered if he was making a statement on like, yeah, absolutely, yeah, he is. <clears throat> Because this is, you know, what is a child's uh, that's, life? That's collateral damage, you know? Right. Like all those all those drone strikes that yeah. George Bush and Obama uh, perpetuated. And, mm-hmm. and kids play kids that, that sort died. of thing for fun. Yeah. Oh, th- that's exactly what it is. You're right. Because, you know, you'll, you'll see some of these stories that they'll kind of suppress, like the two routers uh, journalists who got bombed, you know, or something. And then, yeah. or the kid, the, you know, the family in the van, you know. <clears throat> And then, the, you know, the, the military, you know, the service members are coming home, speaking out against it and getting in trouble. But they're like, I was there. You know, this is what happened. So, um, again, why are we at war? <laughs> and this, I think this is a statement of just, again, like, you know, you're at your Western culture. But what about China? Consumerism. You know, who's funding the consumerism? The Uyghurs in China? The slaves? The 1.5 billion slaves in China, not not it's all of them slaves, but you know what I mean. Like you've got that massive, massive country, China, and where does everything come from again? You know who's funding this lifestyle? So again, it's that concern. I like this. It's like yeah. they're out of their minds. This 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 exploded head thing. It's like you know, have we lost our minds? Oh, that's good. <laughs> I didn't really know what to do with this one. It's just, I don't know if that's... Well, because women are, uh, in their eyes, pieces of meat. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's that's partially it, but I think it's also t- talking about society as a whole. Uh, the the oil, the consumerism, the materialism, and, and also uh, mass production of food. Well, I was thinking like the, these products too, how they are u- yeah, using Yeah, animal testing, testing, things like that, cosmetics. Right. And those uh, strippers... Mass produce mass production of sexual content. The dis- display of the female body. Right? I think yeah, I think he, they he were gets, models. So he he gets into that next one. I'm not going to pause on that one, but it's it's clearly a reference to pornography and just that all of that. And I won't pause on it, but we will see it. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot. There is. <laughs> Is that such pouring out the broken neck? She's you know still hurting. So I'm not gonna pause it, but you know that's clearly I think a reference to just pornography, the porn industry. Just here's what a woman should look like, but and then they do the same thing with men. You know, here's what men are supposed to look like or whatever, and so again, just that mm, the masks. steroids. Yeah. So all of that. But really, they're just scared little boys. Yeah, that's yeah. That was his message inside. Um, and then social media. <laughs> and then I thought these were the social outcasts who didn't fit in, but and then you kind of see them become. I don't know if they become this group here. 
in like crime. I don't know if that's what he like well, the people who don't. I don't know. Yeah, from what I took from that, uh, social outcasts turn into uh, people who are more activists or something. Yeah, activists, Antifa, uh, I was anarch gonna... anarchy groups. Yeah, but but as you could saw, they're still that's part of the game plan too. Like they like you see the cube mm -hmm. on their shirt, like they are yeah. supposed to play that role. There are the pawns. Yeah, it's it's like you know it, it you know you're playing by the same rules. GMOs. Genetically modified foods. Oh yeah, this is the food production part. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty graphic. <laughs> but again, there's those cubes again. You know. Or torture that the animals go through. Yeah. And then the food being, you know, poison. It's like uh, Snow White. <laughs> Snow White. <laughs> Eaten. So I you saw like, that classic so like, image of an apple. Oh yeah, good good point. But this I don't really want to pause it there, but it was like all this poison is causing us to get sick. And who yeah. offers the solution? Who offers the solution? You know who? And it's still poison. And it's another way to make you money. If you could pause it here though, what I think is, is well, I want to pause it here. Is, yeah, this. Yeah, pause it. Pause it here. On the handshake. Okay, clearly they're shaking behind their backs. You know, big pharma and and the big corporate. medicine, and corporate America. But what's interesting is they're offering us the blue pill, the red pill from the Matrix was oh. the one that brought truth. But it all the medication is blue. It has this blue tint. Oh, I never noticed that. That's interesting. It's like a Matrix. Keeps reference. people suppressed. So it keeps you frozen. Yeah, the handshake. And then if you pause it, there's actually a skull. He flashes a skull very quickly. Wait, whoa, whoa. Was that Dr. Fauci? <laughs> Superman? You're <laughs> banned. Careful. We don't want to say anything too uh... it's just... Yeah. Oh, man. It's so ugly. And then the poor kid. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, this one's super interesting. Because you've got the Freemason ring right here. If you look closely, is that what that is? It looks yeah, like it a is. Pokeball. No, it, it really it is. I'm trying no, to. No, you're right. You're right. That's a Freemasonic ring. It's a ring, comp compass and square. square and compass, and then you've got the people with the cubes, and then you've got all of the degrees, which yep. is like, oh, I have my the degree. cabal. You can trust me exactly. And then you notice the black soot coming out of him. Yeah. So yeah. that black soot is supposed to be like emotional rot, just like the the gross, uh, the emotional desires that have just been so. Uh, corrupted and skewed and twisted, Whoa. and and they're pouring out of these leaders in society. You know, the professor had it, the the doctors have well, it. They all have it. Leave it. Black. Well, the 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 normal people don't always have it. They have it Sometimes in their they center. Do. They have it in their center. But most of the big big people, the big wigs, have that just like pouring out of them. So when I was looking at this, I almost wondered, like, you have people in the medical establishment they are doctors but they've also been told a certain way of what the world looks and works like you know they're not necessarily part of the elites but they work in the industry like a machine but they don't get what's going on i don't know if this was a reference i don't know why i thought that was a reference to it because it, it just looked like doctors who were doing their job but they're still not aware of what's going yeah. on and like you see the, the cube again or the square yeah like the useful idiots yeah to use that term yeah so this as above so below imagery again like the i think of the baphomet statue george washington statue as well which was based off the baphomet yeah but you've got you know you've got the money and the awards if you you know you know promote the death that they're promoting up here yeah um and again the cube here so another interesting imagery just keeping the people in control <laughs> Stealing out of each other's pockets. So, this this is end up. Oh ends, wow! This is the uh, the drug trade, and he gets yeah. into this a little bit more in the next slide. But you see the funding of the drugs, and then both sides. So yeah. I'll pause it on the next slide, and we can talk. About it. <laughs> So this is super interesting. So I'll pause it here, but you see 
so he's depicting both, you know, black and white to, to show, you know, that it, it affects everyone, essentially. But you've got the drugs coming from what looks almost like a Secret Service member peddling it. And then this is so that the, the leash, this is a super, you know, got money laundering, the leash going here. This looks like, a, you know, drugs. And then there's people hanging. Yeah. What was that movie with Tom Cruise? Uh, where he was a drug runner. Uh, American made. Yeah. he. I mean, that just showcases the fact that the, the American government and many governments fund the drug cartels to make money. Like it's a, it's a billion dollar industry, but nobody talks about it. Mm. And then at the same time, we go and invade other nations to get their oil and also mm. their drugs for Afghanistan, for example. Mm. It's no surprise that the opioid epidemic skyrocketed right after we invaded Afghanistan. Interesting. That because opium. Uh, Afghanistan, yeah, grows opium. Okay, interesting. As well, right, as the well they grow opium. poppies, which is used to make opium. Right, right, yeah. So, again, there's that connection. You don't grow opium. <laughs> <laughs> Poppy fields. Wizard of Oz, that would be another great breakdown. I thought of the Federal Reserve printing money, <laughs> their slave current, their debt currency paper. Yeah. With it says it's interesting. It has the infinity sign and the. And then it goes on into infinity. Yeah, because they can print as much money as they want. Emptying your pockets. There's actually a picture. If you go back, if you go back to that frame, you don't have to go back. But where everyone's laughing together, there's a picture of like uh, George Bush and the Clintons, and like I know they're all buddy buddy, but there's a picture where they're all actually like that, and they're all laughing together and drinking. Mm. I'll, I'll see if I can find it and send it to you at some point. But okay. and the judge was in cahoots too. Yeah. yeah. What What does this mean? I don't know if the numbers in the corner. Means that our oceans are bad. Uh, well, he he's trying to say that you know, with all the plastic, the uh, mm-hmm. how people just dump their trash into the the sea. They're you know, it's China's real bad at that. Oh, and that was interesting back here. He's he was depicting the hollowness within them themselves. Yeah. So again, from a Christian point of view, it's like. Hey, you need Jesus too. You know, he's still the same answer. That's kind of from a Christian perspective. That's not what he's saying necessarily, but um, you know, I just saw that it's you know we're all human and and we're all ultimately deceived by the devil, and all humans can be saved. You know, and so but it's our choice to respond to the gospel essentially. You know, that Jesus. So I don't know. I, I thought that was significant here. Yeah. Meanwhile, they're profiting up in the top right. Yeah. Exactly. So there's there is a a temporal reality of sin and that we are held accountable. So this is like the killing of the indigenous person and then was oil or something in the background. Yeah. Yeah. The human life is worth nothing compared to the riches that they are making in their eyes. And that's what this number is up here, I think. You know, just yeah, the, the death death toll, yeah. Oh is that okay. Yeah, I just feel like that. So these are people who speak out. Oh. This is slavery. Metro. So, go ahead. So I thought this was super interesting because you know we talk about people are always talking about systemic racism. I think the systemic systemic racism that would exist would be that the people who claim to be helping, like the you know, Democrats, globalists who are, care about, you know, I've got to be careful what I say, who claim to care about, um, you know, the, uh, African Americans and stuff like this, and are you know funding BLM, for example, they're the ones causing this problem in the first place. Yeah, you know? and as we'll see, they they're also the ones who create the inner cities too. Mm. Yeah, no, exactly, and keep. Or gerrymander, the, you know, create the lines so that you're voting within certain areas so people stay in certain areas, yeah. And then you just see the fatherlessness, guns and drugs, nope. you know, and you have gang violence. Not to say people yep. don't make a choice to get out of that, but it creates something that's very easy to fall into. You know, when I was in Chicago, I met a, I knew a couple guys who ch- chose not to participate in uh, gangs and this kind of stuff, but it's there. And who created that in the first place? And we're seeing the people who pretend to care are the ones who created the problem. Problem, action, solution. 
you know, they're, they're, they created the problem. And it's, it's interesting because it, it, it had barbed wire around it. So it'll, it looked like a prison in the inner city. And then here, yeah, you, you can't get out. You're, they section you to that area. And I'll pause it here. I thought this was interesting because you've got, you know, people pretending that there is this wealthy life in the violence and the, you know, but it's, you know, he's held by it. I don't know. Yeah. Thomas Sowell does uh, a great job of exposing some of the lies that are perpetuated in, in, uh, American black culture. Who's that? And, uh, Thomas, Thomas Sowell is a, he's an economist and, uh, he's a writer. He's been published a lot and, uh, he, he's a, he's a black man, but, uh, mm-hmm. he's pushed back against a lot of the, the narrative of systemic racism. And he says it's, it, a lot of it really boils down to the fact that the family, the family unit has been destroyed in America mm-hmm. and especially the black family unit. Mm-hmm. Um, and that may be systemic to a certain extent, but uh, black culture as a whole is, I mean, it promotes things like this and people get stuck in that rut. And mm-hmm. so um, it leads to, it leads to violence. It leads to. And we see that there's people behind it who are, who are pretending to care. I like, you know, I think of George Soros who are like, Oh, we care about you, but they're the ones creating the problem, creating the race, the racist. Sure. Not that there isn't real well, racism. Planned Parenthood. Yeah, Planned Parenthood targets. is a racist organization. Exactly. Because they, they kill millions of black babies, mm-hmm. but they, they, they were funded. They were started by Margaret Sanger, who was a vehement racist. She was, you know, a supporter of eugenics and she was basically like, but the left female Hitler. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, not and, the left or right, you know. But. And not to go too deep, but uh, one of the protocols that the Illuminati laid out through their their figurehead, Adam Weisoft, was to destroy the family unit. Yep. No, that's exactly right. There's uh, there's a couple things we could list, but uh, I think of the, the Naked Communist, which comes from an older document, which I don't want to get into now. But uh, yeah, exactly. It lists that. So I thought this was a discussion on racism you know we see the white the white and black guy and then but who are the people behind it you know i always think like we they show us something oh look racism 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 but you know they're the real enemy they're they're stirring up these they're they're picking on something and blowing it out of proportion and it's like you know and i always say i forget who said you can't fix this you can't you know they try to propose all these solutions to the problem they you know a lot of them started but that really is just the sinful heart but Jesus is the one who creates a community that reconciles all races all people it's not white black or this or that go to Ireland for goodness sake T- talk to an Irishman how he thinks about the English I, I did <laughs> you know there's racism over there too but Jesus is the one who who can you know reconcile I think that. yeah I think they're tapping into the the elite are tapping into the desire for justice but the response is just violence, you know, correct the injustice with violence because it makes people so upset. It makes people enraged and they tap into that and then they get people to fight justice, and, but it's not, you know, justice. scripture says a nation divided, a house divided cannot stand. Exactly. And that's a good point because the platform they're being raised on is breaking apart. So they're going to have to pick a side or be divided oh, or fall through. Yeah, that's interesting. And that really makes you think of the right left paradigm, which he's going to get into right now. So I'm gonna. So this is the transhumanism. That's the name of this piece. So I'm gonna pause it here. Oh, that's yep. great. Yep. That I do we need to It's uh, uh be pizza careful. and hot dogs. You yep. got hot dogs behind the There's a hot dog behind <laughs> yep. the pizza. Yep. And the children Mr. Obama. And you you know what that reference is of viewers who are uh, already attuned to all this stuff. I uh, do yep. we need to say it or will we I don't know. I I let's just say uh yeah, I don't know because you got to be careful what you say or you'll get removed, but uh, just take a look at this. This is a reference, children. So. So I don't want to pause it there, but you get, I mean, you get, get, the, you get yep. the picture, right or left. <laughs> There yeah, it is. There it 
it yep. is. Yep. There it is. There's some, um, you know, uh, right there, right there. Uh, yeah. the parents are in the dark. Like, mm. not only they're they're not keep... only in the dark. They're putting blinders up themselves. They don't want to see it. They don't want to see much. It. It's too much to handle or think about. It's too evil. It's too it's too violent and vile. We can't accept it. it this is not happening. No, it is. <laughs> That's. You know, I, I don't want to, you mentioned it, but the Black Mass, for the first time, I actually heard someone who had been to one of those, and it was in a mm. long video. Yeah. I was crying. I was in tears. I mean, when it's I very heard, heinous. when I heard what was described and what was done, I mean, even now I feel it. I, the Black Mass, I was in te- I was just in tears. It was so awful. What is done to these, these children, these women, pregnant women, I was like, Lord, I understand your wrath i do and i i am still in awe of your grace you know when you hear like because because and what's so crazy is the line between good and evil is in all of our hearts what keeps me from becoming like them we all have a choice we all have volition some people have chosen to give over to that darkness in that way some people choose to give over to other deceptions too but i i see the grace of god that is so amazing that even those people that do such wicked things that I'm not even going to describe it. Like it, I mean, Matt, we could, we might have to do another video on that at some point, but that's just, I'd never heard the black mat, like the, that ritual like described. And I was like, this is awful. This I'm awful. It's, it's, I was in just in tears for probably 30 minutes. Like I was just like, I can't believe this. So I wanted to put that out there just cause yeah. But that's what this is kind of alluding. It's alluding in that direction to that kind of stuff. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah. 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 Um, Avicii was kind of beginning to expose some of this. And a lot of people think he was, he was murdered because he was exposing this, this uh, trafficking ring, this grooming stuff. He, I remember, someone told me about that. Yeah. I remember that, you know, he killed himself with a broken wine glass or something. Something. Yeah. That's okay. Cool. That's, that's the best they could come up with. It's like, okay. They're not even trying. <laughs> are, this is a good one too. You've got, uh, dare I say, um, what's the word? You got, I'm you for? got the politicians saying, "Oh, look, it's a terrorist." Devil. Yeah. And no, like, that's that looks flag, like a false flag. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! What are we gonna do? Help us! And then the Patriot Act. Promoting fear. I think of the Patriot Act here. You know, we've got our self-surveillance. Yep, surveillance 24-7. Everyone's safe in their home, but it's actually a coffin. Also, oh, you know you know, you know, what I saw on this too? Mm-hmm. Sure, all of that. But the the media, the phones, the technology, they're taking away from the union of a man and a wife in bed. Oh. And when they're connected together and, you know, that promotes a stronger family. And that would further prohibit the elites from destroying the family unit. I never thought of that. Wow. If, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. It does. No, it's good. De- like yeah. technology creating a wedge between yeah, TVs healthy and marital phones. relationships. Yeah, no, exactly. exactly. That's a- <laughs> He, he keeps going up, but you see the... I'll just let it play, and then we'll talk. Like, uh, yeah. We've got three I layers. Mean, the, elites are sit- the, the elite society is built on the backs of the, your average Joe. Yeah. And they're just hollow. They're totally hollow. But I, you know, C.S. Lewis the, talks about that. Oh, there's, oh, the, there's the... The cube, the, and then well, these people. C.S. Lewis talks about... Uh, the men without chests. You should definitely read that oh, if you really? get an opportunity never... because it talks about it talks about the direction that modern Western society was going in, and it 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 becomes. Uh, I haven't read it in a while, but it becomes not so much about dealing with real justice, but just kind of these these hollow promises, and um, um, no one stands for anything anymore. It's just emptiness. That's that's not really a summary of it. Um, that's just one kind of aspect of it. But I, I saw this as like, you know, you've got the you've got the like elites at the top 
and they're participating in again as we saw the rituals i, I don't know this just looks like an even more can deformed you, can you but, scroll it back a couple but, frames oh okay okay uh the, the elite have multiple levels even though they're built off of facts of average not shows. only not only that but uh they are these floating basically demons are just absorbing all the energy if mm-hmm. you remember I, if I you, it started that. out it started out with the three the cell dividing into three and then yep. the baby was pure white and that's like good energy and everyone is just draining themselves to feed this okay to feed this monstrosity okay. up at the top i didn't want to mention this before but again in those new age circles they talk i've listened to a couple of their videos and the thing is people who are new age aren't christian they get into some weird stuff cuz they you know they'll have these out of body experiences and whatnot but one and he was this guy was bashing on christians and you know talking about food and how we're all factories of energy and these entities feed on us akron energy i'm not really sure about all that i haven't looked into that too much but again it gets into that whole like spiritual side of man manifesting yeah. energy demons yeah. i think feed off of that you know when when i think of addictions and things like that you know i you know, personally struggling with mm. a pornography addiction i think of how am I, is there a demonic energy feeding off of me you know as i am indulging in that sin you know i, I think about that or gluttony or anger like do we give like what is the demonic entity doing because there is a demonic realm and and i i try to think about this stuff but this kind of is getting at that that idea and i think of myself in that very personally so can i can i make a one Go comparison ahead. kind of an analogy i think it's i think there's some truth to that um at least on a human level we get satisfaction when we make someone else laugh or when we do something good for someone yeah at the same time i think the demonic and spiritual realm thrives off of making other people uh, feel terrible or like mm-hmm. they get their kicks, so to speak. And they, they thrive on that and they, they pursue that as a hobby. That's their end goal. They don't really have any other goal. That's the whole purpose of the demonic is to destroy That's everything funny. and anything with God's image on it. And that includes the family that includes marriage that includes children, you know, the innocent children Yeah. Um, that includes humanity as a whole oh yeah oh man i just it made me think of some other stuff i don't know (laughs) but yeah no for sure for sure any any other thoughts uh yeah uh, based off of demons uh feeding off of you they feed off sin and james says if you know what you're supposed to do but do not do it it is sin Mm -hmm. so even things like uh drinking porn uh, any sort of sin that you do, they mm-hmm. feed off it. it gives them energy. And I know some circles of Christianity will say, oh, this is way off base, Matt. You're going no, way no, I, in the... I hear what you're end. saying, though. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. But when you pursue righteousness and you pray, that also gives a, the holy angels energy, too. They okay. want to... Does, does that kind of make sense? I, I've read, I read like Blake they're Taylor. invigorated. They're like strengthened. They're encouraged, strengthened, okay. encouraged. But Blake Healy uh, says that he sees in the spirit and he wrote a book called the veil. I think it's a great book. A lot of people yeah. discount him, but he talks about that seeing angels and what happens when you sin, what happens when you feed these things. So, uh, you know, your gar- a personal angel, a personal demon that is assigned to you. I do think that that is how it works in some sense. Um, yeah, there's a lot, again, it, that is stuff that a lot of Christianity doesn't talk about. It's very subjective, but I do think it's there. And I think you're right, Matt, that there is, th- that's a whole other topic, but I think it's good to mention that for now, for sure. <laughs> That black cube, it's not red anymore. Yeah. What did that mean? What do we think? So I, I see this as these are the these are the top inner circle, like the elites of the the elite of the elites, right? The like the order, the top red order, or right. white order, whatever. But if, if you look at them through God's eyes, they're just pathetic little things. They're almost like fetuses, like <sighs> crunched up. Yeah. That, that is exactly what one of my teachers was saying. She says, sin turns us into infants. It infantilizes us. It was very interesting. Yeah. So that I, I mean, yeah. Everyone, everyone who's listening, go check out 
uh, the material and the, uh, there's some stuff on YouTube. She's written some stuff, um, Dr. lectures Rose. by Dr. Rosalie de Rose. Um, she's brilliant. She's awesome. Highly recommend her. Hmm. Go ahead, Matt. You're saying, uh, no. And then I just noticed Sorry. that the, the cube is black now it's not red anymore. Hmm. So what I, whether it's true or not, I, what I took from this is that these are the, the, this is the power source. Like, sure. It comes from the fallen angels and then demons. And then it goes to this inner circle of men who are in league with them. Uh, but I just, that's what hit me yeah. when I saw it. the cube is black. It's not red anymore. So they, they're the ones that turn it red and activate it onto their own fellow mankind. And then it's all of this goes on behind the facade. It's interesting because it shows you who is this. Like who who is who makes up the military hand? And it shows yeah, you it's just end. cubes on their helmets. But it shows you like who is gonna like bring in the power yeah. structure. Like I yeah. always wonder like who would stand for this? It's it's us. It's your everyday person who's been deceived, who thinks they're fighting a good fight. Like why did the Germans a lot of the Germans do what they did? You know, wasn't there an element of just I'm doing what's right and they've been lied to? And in retrospect, we see what's, you know, because you're like, okay, these elites control people, but who actually pulls the trigger? It's not them. Yeah. It's someone on the ground with a gun who is deceived too, you, you know? So it's complicated. And You I can, can live a meaningful life only if you're careful not to think about the implications of your view of the universe. Like this cop, he's not thinking about the universe. He's not thinking about the implications of his task as being, you know, the extension of, uh, the force extension of the elite. He's just trying to get by because he's, he's living for himself. He separated himself from the rest of society. Here's where it gets, uh, Matt, you can, you can kind of what you were saying. Society is unraveling around themselves. Everything's being exposed. I kind of see this as, as like God's judgment coming. You know, he's he's coming back on yeah. a white horse. And did you see there was like, there was life. There was a vine that came out of one of those guys' chests with mm. flowers. And it's like, C.S. Lewis has this brilliant quote um, at the end of at the end of one of his works. I, I can't remember exactly where, but he says, everyone's making a choice. Everyone's choosing a side, whether they think so or not. And at the end of eternity, when, when the curtain... Uh, is drawn back and the play is over. Uh, the creator, the playwright, steps out onto the stage. I'm just paraphrasing. Yeah. And then oh, you realize with really horror weird. that you have been playing one particular role the whole time, and that's yeah. what's happening right now. In you know, in my estimation, this everything's unraveling. Everything's coming to a close, and and he's he's uh, presenting this from like a, a transcendent sort of narrative perspective. But God transcends all humanity, and he's exposing things as, mm -hmm. as they truly are. That's a good point. Right. Uh-oh, I'll put a SpongeBob meme. <laughs> what did you say? Patrick Star. Oh, I did that. Yeah. Matt, you didn't see it, but I did that last time. I put like a SpongeBob <laughs> meme. So I'll, you'll see. So wait yep. for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, what's he oh, saying? The, 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 the pineal, pineal gland. gland. What's Boom. he saying? Pinks. The little pine cone. It's what the, the, the Roman Catholics have at the Vatican. It's what all of the elites and the controllers are preventing us mankind from tapping into. The third yet, 
yet behind the scenes, those seri- uh, those very same people are using the pineal gland. They know all the technology and how to access the pineal gland. They know all the rites, rituals, demonic uses for the pineal gland. Mm. So in some ways, this like this guy is showing like some truth. He is, but there's also, another side. He is to very it. blinded. Like he's kind of being a, kind of a useful idiot. Like he's use that for, term a lot. <laughs> I yeah, I do. I'm sorry. No, it's no, it's okay. <laughs> it, it, it's you're 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 actually what you're saying is they're fu- they're actually pushing the narrative for the, forward. They're he's put, pushing yeah, the transcendence. They're using narrative. this director to push the narrative further, whether so, the guy realizes it or not. Because he's he's actually pushing forward the he's human put, ascendancy yes, through yes. Satanism, transhumanism. It's yes. all kind of that dece- uh, beast system deception. Exactly. Yeah, and so the p- awakening of the third eye, our next stage of evolution, whether it's naturalism, right. oh, yeah. Satanism, yeah. the new age, it's all the same thing. It's all the devil just, hey, I'm yeah. coming to make you like God. And you, you said it at the beginning, Matt, Eve, it's never changed. <laughs> you will be like God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a, um, there's a, a Scottish Rite Masonic Museum in Lexington, Massachusetts and I've been there and it's really fascinating in its own right but there's this huge stained glass piece in the lobby or close to the lobby of this of this museum and it's got this all seeing eye Mm -hmm. up above and it's got beams of light radiating down and out of it and it goes to it goes to the star of David it goes to the the Christian cross it goes to uh Different different symbols and, and like things religious. that represent major religions and different the different entities, yeah. but it all leads it all leads to that that all seeing eye. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one world religion right there, and it's a lie. Don't yeah. get me wrong; I'm not saying Christianity is is uh, just another branch no, of gonna... of Satanism, but there are connections that people there don't are. recognize yeah. or see because the Masons have influenced every major branch of Christianity. Hmm. That's a big statement. We'll have to talk about that. Well, <laughs> gotta look true. into it. Gotta look gotta into look it. Gotta look into it. <laughs> that's another. That's a good point, though. Um, talking about how we might have had. Uh, yeah. So. Just use your mind. Use your discernment that God gave you. Ooh. Cymatics. Frequencies. That's that's crazy. You ever done DMT? No. <laughs> I was just gonna say fractals. Yeah, what, what talk a little bit about I mean, DMT that. accesses. I've never done DMT, but from from it uh, opens people your who I talk to who have, it's witchcraft. I mean, that's what it is. It's witchcraft. It, it, you're, you well, are it's, pharmacia, right? It's it's utilizing yeah. substances. I mean, this is what witchcraft is: pharmaceuticals, pharmacia. It's that same Greek word of sure. it's witchcraft. It's it's opening yourself up to the spiritual realm in ways that God said, no, don't don't do that. Right, you're opening yourself up to deception. You shouldn't be having out of body experiences with the silver cord and the it's a demon, you know, it's there's a lot there, but that's another Everything thing. you just said is so like you could spend three hours talking about that <laughs> and we're just dropping even. truth bombs. Yeah. <laughs> for people to just keep what? keep rolling, keep rolling. Almost done. This was interesting. The serpent. Oh wow, what a surprise. Oh. Kinda... So if you pause that image right there here and yeah. And if the viewers have in mind that the fractals going on and everything we've seen, this is the ending point as a believer in Jesus Christ, I would have right here. Hmm. So what the director is trying to promote, although he's misled, this is the end point. You will be devoured by the dragon. If you follow the new age, um, the white side of Luciferian, Luciferianism that I believe is being portrayed in this video, whether the director truly knows what he's doing or not. And yeah. so this, he's pushing that enlightenment again. As we've talked about. This image right here was the most impactful out of the entire video for me. You're being devoured by the dragon. Mm. But anyways. Oh, so he literally following what he is prescribing as your ascendance is still yes. being devoured. So it's you're going to be sides, devoured by Satan. Two sides yeah. of the same coin. So he's talking about this is kind of, uh, the 
the whole narrative of ascendancy. Lucifer, the light bringer, bringing knowledge and ascendancy. Breaking out of your shells, whatever. Okay, yeah. Next to the rising sun. No, not rising sun. Rising out of the ashes. So I, I it's really, like the half of the rising sun. I actually really like this image. Like I thought it was like I know what he's saying in his new age. You pagan, you know. But it, it is kind of a cool picture it's of like so below. Yeah, but in in a Christian sense, if I can, you know, put Jesus. Everyone's in still it. got their eyes closed. How do they? Yeah. Well, I I kind of like if if I were to put my Christian goggles on. <laughs> um, you know, Go ahead, yeah. I, I do like the idea of God um, when he restores everything. Something I always think about is like the perfect restoration of the male and female relationship that fell apart mm-hmm. in Eden. So I don't that this kind of speaks to that. Like, you know, the wife and the husband, you know, his your desire will be to rule over him. And there's you know, you've seen gender con I'll just say sex conflict between male and female. But it's kind of to me, this showed me like a very a very beautiful picture of that being healed with my Christian glasses on. So sure. I don't know. Yeah, I, I could see that. And then I also well, saw holding like, the olive branch piece, you know, there's unity. Oh, wait, wait, that, that's, that is good. That is a good point. Star Wars, the new hope, the original poster. No. And a lot of movies have these types of posters too, where you're they have right. oh, you're right. the man and the woman raising up the lightsabers or the swords together like this. It, it all goes back to, uh, the new age ascending as gods oh. right and yeah i'll be the first one to admit that george lucas was a buddhist and he was into the eastern religion <laughs> low-hanging fruit okay okay but but wait a minute i will say this isn't this the irony of satan you will be it like is. gods if you and yet and yet when you are with yahweh when you are joined to him through jesus christ you literally become brought into what God is doing, who God is. You don't become God, but there is something about like you are joined to God. So it's almost like you like what Satan is offering you is what God is already doing for you. Like it's not right. the same way. Yeah. It's not that you become a separate entity from God, but God is joining himself to you. Right. I mean, and yeah, and you're not powerful. even becoming a separate entity and you're not even becoming one with God. You, you know what I mean? That's what the new age pushes. You'll be yes. You'll be God. one. You will be God. But and it's 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 the most simplistic yet uh, oldest trick in the book that the devil uses on people is you will be God or you will be like gods, depending on your translation. Yeah. And yet Jesus Himself is here to unite Himself. You know through yes, through faith. You will be, co-heirs with jesus christ i mean yeah. you know the, the bride of christ i mean this union with christ language it's it's very profound and yet the new age is saying no no no, you can have all of that but without jesus you know no yes, that's, that's, that's just exactly what it is Reaper. and then yep. if, if we notice the the video is 13 minutes long which is you know right 12 12 months 13 is right isn't doesn't it represent rebirth or something you know, and so that's, that's typically the number eight. Is it eight? I thought it was yeah. thirteen. Like, because you got twelve months, and then thirteen represents like the next. It could be. It could be. Oh, who knows, man? Well, what? So what? Well, I like eight, see here, seven days in a week, and eight is the restart. So it's the sixty-one start. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's that's the thing about numbers. They're so they're so. I don't know. They just circle around. Matt, you were saying something. So, what I see here is the duality aspect of new. So when I say new age, I'm actually meaning Luciferianism. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's all about the black and white, the duality as above. So below Jackie and Dev opposites. Two columns, right? Yeah. And so I was talking about the beginning where we saw some of this, but there was the cube as well. And I don't know the director personally. I don't know what his true beliefs are, but based off of this, I know one, he's not Jesus. Like he doesn't believe in Jesus. Hmm. And 
too, he's bought the bait of what the new age offers, which <clears throat> it's, the same is sa- it, it's Satanism. Yeah. If you just want to cut to the chase and it's the light side as we were, as you put it. Right. So what we saw throughout the whole video was the darkness, the blackness of what Satan has cultivated and has pushed to some people. Yeah. Now he's offering this solution. Like you said, there's a problem. Actual people solution. react badly to it. Then the solution is going to be his man of sin and the transcendent, the transcendence that is offered through the new age religion, which has, which was, brought into history fairly late Hmm. and you have a lot of their uh, prophets and their gurus and that's what the modern day illuminists believe in now Hmm. so we're seeing that connection between the dark side of satanism which is easy to kind of see as bad but the more angel of light deceptive side of satanism is the new age and that's what we're seeing here I see that little baby as like the man of sin. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Just as we're going along, uh, the the symbol of the tree, the as above, so below, you know, that common imagery has been used by numerous religions throughout uh, history. Hmm. Um, That that tree of life sort of cycle, the roots go deep, the branches go go high, and then they eventually meet. It's like the infinity sign again. Hmm. Oh, I see what you're saying. Pagan, you know, pagans, you know, uh, Babylonian mystery religions, and and uh, they had that sort of concept, and and oh. so did you know pagan Vikings, and it's very yeah, it's all over. Yeah. You see that all over you know, Satan's working <laughs> around the clock everywhere. Right. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Eyes will be open. We must enlighten ourselves. <laughs> Yep. Well, that was fun. There's a lot in that video, huh? Yes. We, we, did, we could have spent like six, seven hours on that. <laughs> maybe. No shot. Maybe I mean, we'll I, do. I wouldn't want to. <laughs> well, right, right. And this right here, hexagram. Oh, the the frequencies, the, um, yeah. you know, the cube could be said. Cube, yeah, Star of Satan, the hexagram, rum fan. We need to talk about that another time. Well, Matt, what were you thinking? I mean, there there was a lot there, and I think in some subsequent I mean, videos we'll get into that. But throughout the the video, you could go on for hours and hours discussing the little intricacies of what each slide was showing you. It's a really but, well. It's a good piece, I think, despite right. its misled narrative it is, at the end. It is. it is a good piece, I think. And for me. After watching that video on private by myself, it was just the beginning and the end that really hit me, like stuck out to me. Because I I went into this video. I never heard it before. I heard about it before, before Andrew shared it with me. I was thinking, oh, wow, maybe this is a like a expose guy. Maybe this is a Christian or something. And he's telling us the truth of how it is. Saw the opening and I was like, oh, mm, maybe. And then the ending was like, nope. This guy is convinced that it's all about ascension and we have to utilize um, all of our chakras and combining ourselves with spirituality that the universe offers. And I'll have to do some back research on the guy, but the ending of the video, I was just like, it's, uh, it's a, buttering up the behinds of humankind that is going to (laughs) be awaiting their their antichrist it's it's that promise of ascendancy of godhood of transhumanism the third stage of human evolution whether it's from uh the naturalistic evolutionists whether it's from the new agers whether it's from the dark occult occult circles Mm. it's it's all the same thing Sure. And, and the and the the Illuminati, the like when we're not talking just like oh George Bu- George W. Bush types. We're talking the ones who are deeply involved in the spiritual aspect of it, who run the inner circles, who run all the rites and the rituals, 
they know that duality is a huge part of it because that's how Satan operates. Hmm. Dual nature, duality, white and black. Interesting. And it's because he u- utilizes that because it it's it's a better plan. Hmm. It deceives more people and it's more effective if you use a duality or a dual nature. That's interesting because it kept, captures both sides. Basically, I think this this video also does a nice job of highlighting the postmodern mindset, the uh, the ideas of individualism to an extreme, um, personal freedoms to an extreme, these sorts of things that are good, you know, individual freedoms, individuality and personal freedoms and uh, things like that. They're, they're good, but they've been in postmodernism. They've been totally separated from any sort of uh, root. And the root is Christian morals. The individual is only valuable in Christian in, in, in a Christian the perspective, framework that God has set up the essentially. framework that, that Jesus and, and the Bible provide for us, uh, they really give value to the individual because he is created in God's image. It and, holds it all in balance. Perhaps. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But when you separate these, these concepts of individuality and, uh, nature and, um, personal freedoms from the root, which is Christ and, Christian values, then you take them, they can float off into this nebula. That's just like they go to these extremes. And this Mm -hmm. is what you end up with. You end up with people who are trying to fill the void uh, by being the best social, you know, the best uh, fake person they can be on social media, or they're filling themselves with drugs or, you know, whatever it's, I think it really highlights not only the, the, sort of the satanic agenda, but also the postmodern idea uh, in the West that's mm. so pervasive today. You know, a lot was shared. We could go on for another <laughs> several hours. Um, but I think for some final takeaways is just Jesus. <laughs> yep. God, without God, just we, we are just tossed to and fro, can I say. You know, with the doctrines, the beliefs, the world systems— um, the, the 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 cube right the the prescribed worldview that we've been whatever from both the light and the dark whether it's from this you know the the dark side or from the new age side it's it's lies and we need the bible we need god himself the holy spirit to be able to help us discern you know when you believe in jesus christ the holy spirit regenerates you and dwells you you're joined to god and we then have the ability to discern truth man thanks for joining us on the show today this was really a great uh breakdown i think uh, I hope people out there have a lot to chew on, to think about. And uh, g- people out there, if you enjoyed the video, please share. Leave a comment, please. I love to hear your feedback. We want to hear. We want to engage. If you disagree, you have some thoughts, put it there. We we are open. We want to yep. dialogue. The whole point of this channel is not like we're, these are complicated things. I expect that there will be disagreement. Please just put it there. Hey, you know, maybe I thought this, maybe put it there because we need to start talking. We need to start, you know, some of the things we said might've been wrong. We just, we want you to, to, Hey, here's what I think. Put it in the comment, share the video. I think we all want to reach as many people with, with uh, this, this truth um, so that people can be aware of what's going on, the way that the trajectory of the world. Um, and most importantly, that people will come into a saving relationship with God through Jesus Christ. And that is the most important thing. Second most important thing, subscribe to the channel. There you go. That'd be awesome. <laughs> that will be good too. <laughs> just kidding. That will be good too. Um, you know what? Uh, do, do either of you want to close in prayer and then we'll just win the show? Sure, I will. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, Lord, we uh, just talked about uh, so many deep, heavy things. Lord Jesus, I declare in the name of Jesus that these truths will be able to penetrate the hearts and souls of our viewers. And in Jesus' name, I come against the enemy that would want to uh, blind viewers or convince them that this is meaningless and that we're just crazy. I rebuke you and I break that chain off in the name of Jesus. Lord, bless all of the viewers. I pray that you would um, begin to show them in uh, stages that they're able to be shown uh, all of this heavy truth, because it is a lot. It is. Teach them 
all this, but also the truth behind what you want them to see in the time that is needed at their own pace, Lord. You know each person's pace. And I just bless every one of the viewers. I bless Rob. I bless Andrew. I bless myself. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Thanks for joining, guys. God bless you out there. And uh, just be sober-minded, thoughtful, and critical. And again, just learning to think. That's, you know, manual override. Take back, uh, you know, your thinking, your control. Don't just go into autopilot. God bless you all out there. Bye-bye.